Hey guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the all-new 2024 BMW X5 M60i. And a big thanks to Julian at BMW of Tampa for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to their inventory below and if you're looking for a new premium or performance vehicle in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Julian. And for those of you guys who don't know, the X5 has been BMW's mid-size SUV since 1999. That's when the first generation was released. The fourth generation X5 that you see here was released in 2019, facelifted this year for 2024, both inside and out. Outside, we get a new front bumper, grille, headlights, and taillights. We also get a new M60i trim that you see here. Not a whole lot changes compared to the previous model year's M50 outside of a new mild hybrid system. That's carried over throughout the entire lineup. Specifically, the M60i gets gloss black accents, an M logo in the updated grille, and an active quad exhaust system. All power plants, as we mentioned, get a new 48 volt mild hybrid system and all trims receive the new iDrive 8 system for the inside. We get four power plants for the 2024 X5, starting with the B58 turbo inline six cylinder that we already reviewed for both the X5 and X6 and X7 for 2024. Rated at 375 horsepower, 398 pound feet of torque, enough to get the X5 to 60 in about 4.8 seconds. There's also a new 50E plug-in hybrid power plant capable of doing 40 miles of pure electric range, rated at 483 horsepower, it can do zero to 60 in about four and a half seconds. The top two trims get a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 with a mild hybrid system, the M60 that you see here and the M. The M cranks out 617 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque, enough to get the X5 to 60 in three and a half seconds, and the M60i that you see here gets a similar power plant, it's a little bit detuned at 523 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque. So it's still a monster when it comes to performance, enough to get this X5 to 60 in under four seconds. With a base price of 89,000 bucks, what else do we get for that money? Let's jump right in. So up front, you notice your bold new redesigned styling with the black accents for the M60i trim, gloss black, Headlight inserts too with the BMW laser LEDs, projectors for the high and low beam, and an LED daytime running strip for the outside. The M60 gets a front facing camera and 360 degree camera. We get braces in front of the radiator. We don't get active shutters for the top part of the grill. We do get them for the bottom, and in the center we get the panel that houses your advanced safety features. We get full front parking sensing too, and a 360 as we mentioned with some functional airflow in both corners. I really like this front styling. It is aggressive, especially compared to the competition, which is mainly being like an Audi Q5, Q7, or even a Mercedes GLE that we actually just reviewed on this channel, the AMG 53 too. And that's exactly what this vehicle is intended to compete with. The wheel and tire setup, we have a side sensor before I mentioned, which also helps us out with 360. The wheel and tire setup, we get these black 22 inch rims. We get a beefy six piston M brake caliper too. These are an offset wheel and tire setup up front. We get two 7535R22s with Continental Premium Contact 6 Sun Performance tires. These are really grippy tires and you need it when you have power like this. Out rear we have even wider tires. We'll check those out in one second. Functional heat extractor vent, black mirror caps, additional camera helping us out with 360 on the mirror. LED turn signal too on it. We have blind spot monitoring on the glass and I like that flare design for the mirrors on this X5 M60. We get black trim for the window trim, blacked out B pillar and C pillar, and blacked out roof rails with a panoramic moonroof right up top. We get smart access for the driver and the front passenger. Nothing out rear, we had it for 2023, but for this facelifted X5, we don't get it, at least I haven't seen it on any of them so far. We get the window sticker, you guys can pause, take a look, but it'll be easier to check it out inside when there's some AC because it's a good 95, 96 degrees today in Tampa, Florida. Out rear, we mentioned we have an offset wheel and tire setup. These are 315s, 31530 R22 YXL Premium Contact 6 Continental Summer Performance Tires. We only get a single piston brake caliper out rear, but it's still painted blue, so thumbs up by me, especially with this beautiful blue metallic exterior paint color. The name of the color, we'll take a look at it real quick. It's Marina Bay Blue Metallic and it's an included feature. It's not a cost option. There are a few cost options on this SUV, which we'll check out once we take a step inside. Out rear, we have the updated taillights too. Chrome X5 badge, full rear parking sensing with a side sensor. Trailer hitch, I'll leave a link right here with this SUV is rated to tow, I believe it's 7,200 pounds. We have an M60i badge in the corner. Shout out BMW of Tampa for helping make this review possible. We mentioned the active quad exhaust tips too. 
And speaking of the exhaust tips, let's fire up this twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 and hear how she sounds. All right, guys, that was the sound of the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 sold by BMW for the 2024 X5 M60. And it sounds really good. Unfortunately, for the first, I think, 400 miles of this engine, it limits the power about 70% or to about 70%. So you can't rev it above 4,500, which is good for the consumer when they end up buying this really expensive SUV. But for the purpose of this review, we're not gonna be able to see this vehicle's full potential. But as you mentioned, that's probably for the best. It is a powerhouse cranking out 523 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque. It can still get almost 20 MPGs combined. It's rated at 19, we'll check that out on the sticker. And can do zero to 60 in under four seconds, which is absolutely out of control for a 52, 5300 pound SUV. We get four sets of strut tower braces, additional supports in front of the radiator. We can shut this hood right down, twin throttle bodies. Take a step back, walk around this 2024 X5 M60 one more time, and take a step inside and see what we get for this $89,000 base price monster SUV. So up top, we get leather stitch trim, aluminum door handle lock and unlock, two person memory seats. You can also adjust the passenger seat if you'd like for one reason or another. Four window, auto one touch, leather stitching in the center, gushy soft leather armrest, additional storage right here, trunk release, more stitching for the front, carbon fiber trim, booming Harman Kardon sound system. I'll leave a link right here with the wattage. It's probably one of the best systems I've heard. I can't demonstrate it for you guys for copyright purposes, but you can trust me, it is impressive. We get soft touch down below too, which is impressive considering the GLE 53 AMG we reviewed did not get soft touch and it had a higher base price with less power. Is it Lionel Felt? It is not, but you can fit a massive bottle up front. We get an M60i illuminated nameplate. As we step inside, the seats are really beautiful leather. We get quilts in the center and perforation. They're heated and ventilated seats. Fully adjustable, you can recline, drop, lift, and slide. Adjust the bolsters, adjust the thigh support. Not quite sure what this button adjusts. We'll check that out in one second when we take a step inside. Speaking of taking a step inside, let's do exactly that. Foot on the brake, engine start, stop, and everything fires right to life. So that button on the side I was talking about actually adjusts the angle of the headrest. That's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys can pick it up on camera. But other than that, first thing we notice is the steering wheel. We get the M steering wheel here. It's not the actual M steering wheel out of the X5M competition with the M1 and M2 mode. But other than that, it's basically the same thing. Super thick. We get the contrast stitching, fat 10 and 2 bolstering notch, and a 9 and 3 fits perfect in your hand. I prefer this steering wheel without question compared to what you get from the Mercedes. We get stitching for the horn area the horn itself loud and aggressive people should be definitely getting out of your way we'll do a window check see if we get dual panes we do not get dual panes but it's a very thick single pane of glass we'll see how the isolation is once you take it out for a drive we get an m badge in the bottom of the wheel on the left side we have our cruise control settings on the right side volume and skip hang up and answer your phone calls and adjust this infotainment right over here you can adjust between the content Assisted view, reduced view, trip data, augmented view, route preview, and the map. We need that G meter and media slash radio. My personal favorite would be the map, so we'll leave it there. You can also adjust the layout itself between this, that, and the final screen. My personal favorite would be the first screen, so we'll leave it there. We can also adjust this massive heads up display. This and Mercedes has one of the best heads up displays I've seen in the business. You can adjust between the map, assisted view, sport view, reduced view, and right back to where we started. My personal favorite would be sport view, so we'll leave it right over there. The 2024 X5s also get the iDrive 8 system, which has one of the most advanced voice recognition systems in the business. Make sure you check out my 2024 X7 and 760i videos to get a good idea of how advanced this system really is. I'm not gonna demonstrate it here. The paddle shifters are aluminum and they are snappy. We'll see that once you take it out for a drive. Auto headlamps, auto high beams, and auto rain sensing wipers all expected at this price point. We get carbon fiber all throughout this dashboard. We get a 12.3 inch digital gauge display, and what I believe is a 15 inch touchscreen. I'll leave a link right here to show you exactly the size of this touchscreen. To the left of the steering wheel, we have a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. The auto headlamp controls on the left side. Hopefully you get a good look at your aluminum outlined pedals 
all really nice quality. We have a full leather stitch dashboard, auto dimming frameless rear view mirror. Unfortunately, we don't have hard buttons for the climate control. We get hard buttons for the volume and skip hazards and defrosters, but to actually change the temperature and adjust the heated and ventilated seats, you gotta go through the touchscreen. Just for this reason alone, I think Mercedes has a better infotainment setup compared to this iDrive system, but as far as voice recognition and overall display, I gotta give it to BMW for the iDrive. We get carbon fiber trim for this entire center stack, leather stitching for your knee will often hit, and some carpeted trim beneath that. We get a carbon fiber lid here too, we can open it right back up, wireless charger, a little bit of storage, we have USB-A port and a 12 volt. Unfortunately, we don't have a USB-C port. I would expect the USB-C port next to the USB-A port, but not a big deal. We still get USB-C ports. They're just hidden right over there in that center console. We'll get to that in one second. The cup holders can fit 24, possibly 30 ounce bottles. They can turn off the traction control, turn off the parking sensors, a crystal engine start stop button, and a crystal gear selector. We'll check out the backup camera real quick. Super high resolution guidance lines and trajectory for the front and the back and an over the top 360 right next to it. We also have parking view. You can check it out over the top 360, assisted view, panorama view with a wider view and more views. We have 3D trailer coupling, car wash, and the overall settings for the system. You can see the 3D view. You can use this crystal dial and go all the way around your 2024 BMW X5 M 60. You can also check out the trailer coupling view and finally the car wash view over the top front facing with guidance lines and trajectory. Awesome. My only complaint is when you throw it in the park, you stay in the backup camera screen, which is nice if you're opening the door in the city, like right there, not quite sure if you can pick it up, it could show you your door and if cars are coming, which is nice, but I would prefer to just go right back to the home screen after putting it into park. Continuing along, we have Sport, Comfort, and Eco Pro. We'll start the review off in Sport, Transition, and Comfort, just to see what the differences are. Electron parking brake with brake hold and hill descent control. We mentioned the crystal dial for the infotainment if you don't want to use the touchscreen, but I prefer using the touchscreen. Here we have the map. You guys can see the response. It is excellent. Just like an iPhone, you can see the BMW dealership, gas stations, restaurants, all of that. Continuing along, you see a song that's currently playing. We mentioned the sound system is absolutely fantastic. Truly one of the best systems I've heard. You can see all the apps that are available. We've shown this countless times with the iDrive system, but I'll show you guys one more time, of course, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Continuing along, some aluminum trim outside of this carbon fiber, aluminum button open up this center console, which is gushy soft leather. Pretty spacious too. I'd expect you to fit six, seven, maybe eight 12 ounce cans in there. And there's a light too. So you can see everything at night. We got some soft touch outside of this glove box and aluminum latch too. You can open it up. It is large, line with felt. You'll fit 25 ish license plates, maybe two pairs of shoes if you're under a size 10, but one pair would probably be a safer bet. We got some gloss black in the center stack with an M etched on the passenger side with more carbon fiber above that. Harman Kardon speaker. The interior lights are LED. Awesome, we can open up this moonroof. The shade opens up pretty quickly and you get those dots too, which can help the dimming process if it's really, really bright. We can open up the glass itself. It goes on top of the second panel. We'll see how far it goes out itself. Um, not that far, we'll see if it goes any further. It does so all the way to the end of the front row. So a pretty wide opening, we'll poke our way out of here. It is a hot one today in Tampa, Florida, sunny and 89 degrees, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was closer to 95, 96. We'll close this moonroof right up. We'll leave the shade open so when we hop out back, you can see how much light is brought into the cabin. That's about it though. We'll take a quick look at this window sticker, see any features that I may have missed on this 2024 BMW X5 M60i. With an $89,300 base price, we get the Marina Bay Blue Metallic included with that price. This is a really nice color to be coming as a no-cost option. We've seen with BMW charge quite a bit of money for their more premium colors. However, this black extended merino leather is almost a $2,000 option. The active driving assist and highway assistant is $2,100, $650 for the M Sport Professional package, $900 for the parking assistance package, and this is a good package. You get the parking assistant professional, active park distance control, and the surround view 360, all for $900. $1,650 for the executive package, giving you the glass controls, gesture controls as well. $1,000 for the climate comfort package, giving us the four zone climate, heated front and rear seats with heated front seat armrests. That's a nice package for $1,000. M Sport Package Pro as well. $1,900 for these 22 inch rims, $650 for the trailer hitch, $300 for the carbon fiber, 
thousand dollars for the massage seat function up front luggage compartment mat is 235 trailer hitch plug is 40 bucks 165 for the floating hubcaps and almost a thousand bucks for the destination totals us out at 102,835 bucks so it's up there in price but this is a fully loaded x5 m60 even at 89.3 it is a really well equipped vehicle if you want it to be closer to 89.3 however you're probably gonna have to build it yourself because most dealerships are gonna spec them out to their liking Anyway though, fuel economy with this mild hybrid system, we get almost 20 combined MPGs with over 500 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque, 17 in the city, 22 on the highway. That is impressive. That's about it though, guys, for the front seat. Let's hop out back, see how much space is offered back there, as well as the overall quality of the material. Of course, it was locked. You can open it up though. Now up top, we get the sunshade, leather stitch trim in front of it, aluminum door handle, two Harman Kardon speakers, and some gushy soft leather for the armrest and the center portion. We get soft touch continued even for the back seat on the bottom. So the attention to high quality detail, definitely on the side of BMW, especially for the price point compared to the AMG 53 GLE. Very solid amount of space, massive size cup holder, illuminated M nameplate as we step inside. Rear seats are gushy soft, padding goes all the way out to the door frame, and we get that quilt for the center of it as well. And these are heated rear seats. Taking a step inside, I'm a little bit over six feet tall, sitting behind my seat settings, and I still have three, maybe four inches of knee room. I can scoot that front seat up a little bit. I haven't really adjusted it to my liking. So maybe five, maybe six inches of knee room. It's a spacious SUV. Headroom, I got about two, three inches. So if you're under six, five, six, six, you should be able to sit behind your own seat settings with no problem. We get a bracket so you can hook up an iPad or computer with an additional USB-C port. Map pocket behind both of the front seats and an additional bracket for the passenger. Four zone automatic climate control and the heated seats in the corners of that adjustment. We get a rope to open up the center cubby. It's pretty soft, not the softest. It has a console though, so you can throw some car accessories. Kids can throw their coloring books and whatnot. Two cups, cup holders, heel fit, 24 ounce bottles in there. That's about it though, guys. We get hook for the driver's side and the passenger side in the back seat. And the interior lights back here are LED with adjustments for the location of the light itself. Cool. That's about it though, guys, for the inside and outside. I'm locked in here now. I'm locked in the back seat of this 2024 X5. The child locks must be on, not on this side though. So we'll hop out of here, check out the cargo space. We'll see if this gas cap is pushed open. It is. We don't get easy fill though. Not quite sure what's going on over there. Let me know in the comments section, but to actually access the fuel cap, you gotta twist and open it. And 91 octane is recommended with an 89 octane minimum. Speaking of cargo space though, down on the bottom, or actually underneath the BMW badge, we have the top tier of the trunk opening. BMW has a two tier system for the X5. They've always done it. And it's one of the most convenient features for all SUVs. You can simply press this button down below and it powerly deploys or automatically deploys a nice little, not pickup truck tailgate, but it's a little bit of a tailgate that you can poke out and sit on during tailgates. And the sound system here is so ridiculously good that for the tailgate, this thing will really liven up the party. The overall storage space is also really impressive. You fold the rear seats down 40, 40, 20, I'd expect you to fit a 75, 80 inch TV. Not only is this floor really large, they maximize the space tremendously with the wheel wells. They don't even protrude to the slightest. For those of you guys who have just seen my CRV and HRV videos, those vehicles also had large floors, but those wheel wells protruded so much that when it comes to TVs, they wouldn't be able to sit as flushly as you have here. But I'm ranting a little bit. It's a massive cargo space, even more massive when you fold down the rear seat. So you can press this button right here and it automatically lifts the tailgate right back up. You can press this button up top and it automatically drops the actual trunk. That's about it though, guys, for the inside and outside of this 2024 BMW X5. It is a beautiful SUV. From this angle, it's one of the best lookers out on the road today. Compared to vehicles like the Mercedes GLE 53, is it as luxurious? Not quite, but it's 95% luxurious and almost twice as fun to drive. And speaking of fun to drive, let's take this 2024 BMW X5 M60i out for a drive. All right, guys, now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the all new 2024 BMW X5 M60i. Let's take it out for a drive and see what it's got. We're starting off in Sport Plus 2, the most aggressive mode. Actually, the most aggressive mode is when you hold down the two paddle shifters and you get sprint mode where you get an additional, I think 30, maybe 40 horsepower, oops, for about 
10 or 15 seconds, which yeah, we'll try out, but we're limited to about 70% power for break-in purposes anyway. So it won't make the biggest difference. Taking a step out here, it is steep. Ground clearance is great on the gas. Ooh, ooh. It still pulls unbelievably hard, even with just 70% throttle or 70% power. That was just about full throttle. As soon as we get the chance, we'll try out a real world turning radius. Hopefully after this Cadillac passes. The auto hold is a little bit annoying. You gotta really step on the gas to get that thing to start moving. The turning radius is decent, about half throttle. Oh, oh yeah, snappy shifts. This thing is an absolute powerhouse. I could only imagine what it would feel like when all this power is actually unlocked. And since we're um, limited to revs, you can't downshift at the same times that you normally would with the vehicle completely unlocked. So you're not gonna hear those snappy burbles and stuff in this exhaust right now at least. You gotta put about 300 miles more on this vehicle. It will be nice to drive on with about four or 500 miles to really get to open her up. All right, guys, taking a step out here. We can open her up a little bit on the gas. Woo! Yeah. It is quick. It's not gonna blow you away, because again, we're only using 70% power, but it still feels like a powerhouse. Partial throttle, where it doesn't limit you at all, gives you a good sense of how it would feel in a normal situation, but about half throttle to full throttle, right now at least, just doesn't feel a whole lot different. Merging onto this highway though, it picks up speed so easily when you're just light on the gas. We can try it out in S mode, S4, three, on the gas. Woo! Yeah. Not bad. It feels like a strong V8 pull and just cruising along at this multiple lane highway. We're on concrete pavement and it is still really quiet. Low revs, passing power about halfway. It picks up speed really well. Very smooth too. Smooth power delivery and you get a nice little growl with this 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. The handling in Sport Plus, oh yeah. It feels really, really good. This is a good handling SUV. That's why you go with the BMW X5. You're used to driving sportier vehicles, but now you have a family, you need something a little bit larger, but you don't want to compromise the performance and handling aspects while getting the more spacious and more practical vehicle. This is the vehicle to get, and that explains why it's been such a great seller over the past few years. On the gas again, ooh, it sounds nice. Yeah, we're not pushing it too hard, of course, but it is still a really relaxing vehicle in a luxury standpoint and a very thrilling vehicle in a performance standpoint. Body roll is just about non-existent. Ooh, the rev limiter because we dared to cross 4,000 RPM. That's a good idea though that BMW is doing with these new vehicles. It'll definitely help them in the long term because people who are looking to buy BMWs are looking for something with more performance. Therefore, just about every time they get test driven, somebody's gonna romp on the gas and push it way past its break-in limits. That's not the case anymore because you're limiting the power for the consumer until they reach 350 miles, just about eliminating all of the previous confusion. We'll throw it in a comfort mode real quick since we don't have the full performance capability. There's really no reason to check out Sport Plus much further, but even in comfort mode, we'll take it out of S. Heard a little burble there, wow. But even in comfort mode, it still feels planted. The steering's on center. You change directions very easily. You get the alerts through the steering wheel as soon as this guy makes his turn. We'll try another acceleration. Woo! Yeah. Even in comfort mode, this thing can pick up speed. It's not super loud, especially not in comfort mode. It's a little bit louder in Sport Plus. But this is the more docile vehicle to get. So you don't want to spend the extra 20, 30,000 bucks for the M competition. You're more than happy with 523 horsepower, 553 pound feet of torque, as most people are. And you want to keep the price under $100,000. I would definitely recommend checking out the 2024 BMW X5 M60. I'd almost recommend checking this out over the X5 M. The X5 M, for the price, it doesn't really feel as luxurious enough that I would pay $130,000 for it. It's definitely fast enough, but again, for that price, I would like to see a little more comfort. And this gives you that. This has a softer ride quality. It's not as brutally loud. It gives you 
best of both worlds. You get the power, you get the looks, and you get the performance upgrades, but you don't have the obnoxiousness and price as the M competition. Overall, guys, if you're shopping for a BMW X5, chances are you've already checked out vehicles such as the Mercedes GLE 53 or even the 450, and you've already checked out vehicles like the SQ7 or even the RSQ7 or RSQ5 vehicles in that nature. Why are you looking at a BMW X5? Because this vehicle is cheaper, it is faster, it's better looking, more spacious, and above all, it is more fun to drive than any Mercedes, any Audi that I have driven so far. BMW does such a good job with their performance vehicles or even their vehicles in general that are meant for a luxury and performance balance. And that's where you go for the BMW X5 M60. It's not as brutal as an X5 M. If you want the brutal speed and you need the space, go for the X5 M, I won't stop you. But if you wanna keep that luxury aspect while still having a monster SUV capable of doing zero to 60 in under four seconds, booming audio system, brand new tech, heated and ventilated seats, all with a base price under 90,000 bucks. Unlike the GLE 53, unlike the RSQ7, I would definitely recommend checking out the 2024 BMW X5 M60 if you're looking for that balance between brute performance and actual capable luxury. And a big thanks to Julian at BMW of Tampa for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below and if you're looking for a new premium or performance car or SUV, in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And as for Julian, and huge thanks to all of you for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know the channel's just not possible without you. And I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment, let me know if any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you want to see reviewed on this channel, and I'll definitely try getting those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day.